weapon. So we do this, and you guessed it right. And that looks like uh, Grant in the jungle second selection uh, uh, on the red team right there. We'll give him the jungle unless they're not in order, and somehow he ends up doing something else. See you in a second. Oh, 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 man. You know I'm going to enjoy this shit. You guessed it right. He, he played that motherfucker in the jungle. You know, it, I don't know, man. I need to go check his runes and masteries real quick. I am a master. I rarely lose uh, Malphi jungle games. It, Malphi jungle sucks, I know. But if you're able to get to the level, uh, get to level six, cooldown boots and 10% uh, CDR at the start, and then uh, Iceborne, you're good. There's your 40%, uh, and then you can just keep spamming. You'll be useful, but your team has to wait for you to get there. You know, I was thinking about doing that too. I'm thinking about playing a lot more uh, uh, Mumo. Uh, and I don't know why I don't play Cho'Gath, it's always open, but uh, I think I'm going to have to start playing those champions instead of the, uh, the deer. But let me go in, check Argyle Rant. Fan favor right here. Alright, we're going to hit the live game. All right, Demotius, 70% uh, win rate in the bronze division. A lot of flexing. That's good, though. He plays a lot of flex. Doesn't play a lot of solo queue, and that, that shows. Right there, let's see if... 73% uh, win rate. Nami Darius, let's see. Then... Oh, he's an ADC main. Well, I can see it all. All right, so yeah, he has a high win rate. And oh my God, oh snap. You know, 84 games played, 36% win rate. Yeah, we, that's a, that's definitely uh, 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 worth watching right there, Ezreal Jungle. And Bronze, I said 36% uh, win rate overall. Um, 25 on Zolo, 44%. I mean, you're, you're looking at just, just negativity. Grant doesn't play a lot of uh, solo you. 22 games total this season, 36% win rate. Um, uh, we got four, more 40. Uh, bot lanes 44 and 46% on the uh, red team. I'm sure he is. You know, 100 plus games played, 47%. I mean, this is negative. I mean, II Summoner is the only one positive. And you look at the Mo TS, and uh, this is the guy that uh, might try to carry the game. I see nothing but flex games. You know, I'm not going to sit here and call this guy a smurf because if this guy doesn't like playing rank, and rip, I'll let you guys be the, the judge of calling somebody out. I'll get ready to spam Smurf in chat. Let me double back to see if we got a spin again. Okay, no. So five spins already, guys. More spins to come. Oh, back to Grant's Rune to Masteries. Grant, a physical lethality, 7.5 CDR, 6.8 AD, Savage, Assassin instead of Runic, uh, Merciless, I don't think Merciless is worth, I mean, you're pretty much just uh, burst, you know, once you get those items, but, you know, when targets are low, it's like you, you fucking hit ground slam, so, it's not like you're hitting somebody, like, like if I was to compare... You know, Malphite's damage with Merciless to Udyr's 3% would definitely, you know, be a thousand times better. So, yeah, picking up Meditation, you know, because you're going to be spamming uh, mana is going to be better. Um, and as you can see, he's pretty goddamn low right here. And uh, 34 seconds till the smite comes back up. Let's see if it goes straight for red. And this will be a fight uh, to the death. Um, and, yeah, he's going there without his red buff. If he kites it, he can run away. But this is the fight we've been waiting for. It's red buff versus Grant. Grant, one of the most boosted uh, players in the bronze division. He doesn't give up, though. That's why we love Grant. He comes in. He's going to throw a left hook, and he's going to come back in. Bramble with the right double fist. Or boom, Grant realizes he's in a fight for his life. Pulling back the sides to back. Comes into the bush. Puts the ground slam. The reset is there. So looks like this guy is going to go back into his corner. Reset. Boom. Comes back with the rip shot. Rabbit shot to the back. Boom. He says, get the fuck out of my jungle, you dumb bitch. And it looks like uh, Grant is not going to be able to do that camp. And Red Buff's like, bitch. One more step, motherfucker. Get get out of my lane. And boom, back in the mid lane. And back in base he goes. 
All right, so taking a look, he goes for the Lethality damage and T-Lords. Okay, so yeah, I can I can understand the T-Lords, but he definitely needs to go to CDR. He goes for Bandit when he's not even hitting champions, unless you get gold for hitting fucking jungle camps. And my goodness, Gentastic Kill could have picked up first blood, and all he had to do was just follow Flash right there with a the reset on the E. If not, just follow Flash Auto. I think he had it. I mean, Sion is uh, very, very, very squishy, and he cannot overextend right now. Grant's going to hop over his plant. Again, we got round two, and I think Grant's going to be fine here. But uh, Red Buff uh, is, you know, he's not going to go down just like that. And he's going to throw a left hook, coming back, double fist or over the head. And it looks like we got first blood uh, going over, like I said, to Gentastio um, and Gentastico right here, like... Okay, so this is the thing that you guys need to understand and stop doing. So, we pull up, he hits the E. Alright, so the lane's already pushing, you're getting experience. His minions outnumber your minions, so it's 1-2, and you pray that these guys die. Uh, these guys die, or these guys shoot the ones in the back rather than the melees, because you want to get this far. But if not, you back off, you sit off to the side, you have two pots, and as you can see, being a bronze player for I don't know how long, um, he doesn't even, like, pot up his pots. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't pot, he doesn't pot up. He doesn't realize the lane's pushing, that he could sit right here, that this wave's going to come around right here, and that this wave is going to also come in because, you know, identical shit, you know, just one side, one side, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then he'll be able to freeze the lane and pop two pots and pretty much get back to full and farm this wave earlier game. But instead, watch, this is the thing, boom. 20 gold, wait, I need one more. Nope, and then he realizes, oh shit, that was a mistake. So for 20, or was it 20 or 18? For 20, we'll just say 20, or, or what do you call it? Uh, 20 gold, for 20 gold, he gives 400. Did you see that? 400 gold. 400 gold. Back to the fight of red. He gets it right here, and that's going to be his level 3. And then uh, looks like he's uh, going to come over here, hit the ground slam, and uh, might be able to get some farm here, but uh, I'm sure he is going to pop the teleport. Chase uh, mid lane getting work. T Lord striking down onto Zolo, and uh, that's the. That's the I told you to watch out. Oh my god, it comes down. That's that Ezreal level four to start the game. Stana got to pop the ooh, nice hook right there. One, two, and uh, bam, you dead. Uh, heal was up, but decided not to use it. Nice uppercut. Bam, double kill. Auto attack. Uh, auto attack. <laughs> like doing some sideways action. Caddy picked up. GG. Yo, pick up the coin. Hater, that's 45. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, if he doesn't pick this coin up, does he not see gold on the ground? Do, do those things disappear, guys? Oh, thank you. Oh, about to say. Oh, headshots. Thank you for the subscribe, oh, Reno. Very much appreciated, baby. So we're going to gain come. All right, he hits him with that. Uh, Mundo, Mundo, you have a pot. You need a pot. What are you doing? Turn had red buff, you had the region, you just potted up, and uh, you decide to uh, end suicide because you were feeling yourself too much, and you forgot that you're a bronze player, and uh, bam, just threw a free kill over to somebody you're pretty much dominating, and like I said, you, you know, could have just chilled, relaxed, you know, you had this shit, man, you were, wait, you had to use teleport, you're building some fire cape. Okay? No, it's shit. You already got a built-in some far cave by hitting fucking W. Better animation. You actually get to see the flame. Plus, gives you tenacity. And uh, Sion gets to sit back. And this Sion, man, I just don't like it. I don't know why he plays Sion. Sion's the most useless champion in the game. You know, I hate saying it. You know, Sion. Sion is one of my, uh, was my favorite champion until they fucking stripped him of everything uh, that made the motherfucker OP. I remember fucking after season one, everybody started playing them because I was a fucking beast with it, and uh, they got my shit nerfed, and then ended up getting reworked. My sign was fucking clean, guys. Go watch some of my old videos if you don't believe me, man. You see me just farming the whole fucking map, man. Be good at that. Breaching. Yeah, sign was a breacher, man. One to one AP, Lich Bane. You don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You boost hating. Alright, so, uh, let's see, you guessed it right, Grant coming and getting his crab stolen, boom, I don't even know if he realizes he's getting shot, he has flash, don't do it, whoa.
Oh my god, that flash though. That flat, that flat though. That flat though. The flat though. Oh my god, Grant with the outplay, without a doubt, outplayed, I mean, had fucking, uh, Ezreal in, uh, shambles, as you can see, looking. This dude looks, he looks like he's about to die. Does he not know where his smite key is? Oh my god, you killed Papa, guess what? I can watch this all fucking day, baby. I can watch this shit all day. I don't know about you, but, but I mean, I know there was a fight going on top, but god damn, that was beautiful. I just loved how he cleared that camp. I'm sure he is again, man. I'm not respecting the cleave to the back, popping the all boom. Watch the flash out. Grass of the undying, and yes, another kill for him, and that's 3 1 right there. And Grant also helping him out. Grant, uh. Finally gonna know he's level four still and uh there you go, catch up experience, you know, coming into play. We got uh overextension Oriana, let's see it. Again, you know I gotta watch this guys. I'm sorry, but it's I'm watching the whole fucking thing. I can watch Grant Beast this crap all day. <sighs> let's unmark this. I don't care what's happening, guys. Imagine like a level, f like level 10 fucking uh, scuttles. I can't wait for that moment. That's gonna be a beautiful sight. No, no, see, Grant's red's about to spawn. Oh, why is it not directed camera? Grant coming in with that lane gank. I mean, you're not gonna see a better lane gank than that. Boom, to condemn, boom, to ground slam, boom, to into the turret, and even a, a vein shot. We got Gromp up. Grant is actually gonna analyze the situation, stand there for a second, and he's still standing there, as you can see. I like how he stands. Right there, he's got the bandit there to make a buck every time a minion dies. Gold coins on the ground. Grant scratching his head. He's like, "What should I do right now?" He's, he's, you know, he's planning his attack, and that's the main thing about Liga Retos. He's planning your next attack, as you can see. That has the enemy team in uh, a dumbfounded state. Grant still standing there, letting it be known that you know I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe they'll think I'm a coral reef since there's water right next to uh, this lane. And boom, voila! I come out uh a coral reef mode and boom drop that R but I don't have my R yet but we're still gonna analyze the situation back to top we got mid uh I guess going full aggro here um Jay's coming back full HP yes he's running back in and uh Zolo not respecting his shock blast walks in after getting shock blast and flashed on and swatted and uh Oriana had both summoners up ulti and see here's the thing like you you, you gotta remember one thing you gotta remember one thing like like we, we cannot panic we cannot, we just cannot, man. We just, that's one thing, you know, boom. You know, a good example is Faker. Yes, you're not Faker, but guess what? When Faker gets fucking ganked by three, man, that's what I, I love watching him. Because you remember that fucking C9 gank? I mean, they pulled up on him. Uh, what was it? What's, what's the dude's name? Uh, 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 what's that dude's name in the jungle? Not Ray. Uh, what the fuck don't I know his name? C9's jungler. I'm going to sit here until I figure it out. Uh, impact the top lane. I don't know. Somebody tell me. Contracts. There you go. Contracts. Yeah, they, they pulled up and you see him do it. I was like, oh shit, he's dead. Then all I've seen is turbo jet fucking goddamn uh, uh, Cassiopeia pop, 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 spitting bars and boom. See, this guy right here freaks out. Boom. Right here. Boom. And all he had to do was flash off to the side, but instead he throws the ball. He should have just flashed. And then just threw the ball, knowing that he just flashed. But this is Bronze Elo. He just throws the ball, and after that, he loses all control of his, uh, you know, hand. Uh, uh, I was going to say hand-eye coordination. Oh, yeah, yeah, hand-eye coordination, and boom. And just dies like this. With both summoners up. And all he had to do is hit flash. 
put a shield on him and fucking hit his R. I'll play Ignite, but of course you're not going to see that. But just flash next time. Don't hesitate. Remember where your flash key is. Remember where your fucking E, your Q. Remember this. Remember that. The little things, guys. That's a little thing right there. And all he had to do was flash. We're all greedy. I'm not going to lie. There was multiple times that I lost games because I decided to, you know, keep my flash. And all I had to do was flash, but I didn't. Why? Because I'm fucking greedy. You know, I'm just... I don't know what it is, but uh, where's my boy Grant? Grant over here, uh, finally getting that level 6 10 minutes in. That's actually not that bad, you know, to get a level 10 at, uh, what do you call it? The way, uh, you know, he's done a lot for, for top. Zone flex and uh, Mundo, giving him one kill, that's it. Uh, and he knew that uh, Sign would get it back and then go on bot. Boom, we got the two-man stun, but Bane should not be ignored, especially with the wave coming in. And if uh, somebody gets hooked here, uppercut, Blitz comes in, melee for him. Off to the side he goes. Hits the hook and uh, into the boom flash. One auto, heal pop. One more auto, rocket jump, baby. Undershot that shit by a mile. And uh, we got, you guessed it right, Grant coming in. What is he going to get here? That's the question. All right, so we got a... Uh, as coming in through the side and bam, uh, ignite drop, shockwave popped and uh, popped to the mouth, bam, misses the ulti, but guess what, he's there, he goes in and right there is the moment Zolo realized that he could get the kill, but not only that, it, it just goes to show, you know, fear levels, you know, the... Uh, no, I don't understand. As soon as he sees this right here is what I'm talking about. As soon as he sees it, watch, I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull up right there. He turns. Zolo again. You now this is the guy that didn't flash. Easily got his ignite this time. Got his ulti off. But again he walks back, scared to take damage. When he could have gotten closer to uh, a Grant and walked him out, but Grant comes in with the flex and does he go down? Boom. Look at that. Maybe this was all planned out by uh, Grant to get the uh, flash from uh, what do you call it. And now it looks like he's going to be in a fight of his uh, life over here. He's going to have to wait for that shield, but instead looks like he's going to back. And uh, Oriana might be able to get this mid tower here. Drop pretty low. Uh, Fab swag. Oh, no. We got some heavy struggles top. And uh, yeah, Mundo's you know, goddamn pretty much. Uh, Living life right now. Got a little 12 CS lead, but got four kills on top. And uh, what the fuck? Did he get sniped? I missed it. Did you guys see that? Like, did anyone else... It, like, instantly switched over to something else. Oh, I thought he... Oh, well, maybe I... What the fuck? I'm blind or something. I think it, like, switched to a different lane, uh, you know? There you go. Very smart not to back. And uh, with the Oriana pressure in mid, you know, if nobody's ganking her, where the fuck are they at? They're coming for me. Okay. Then uh, Oriana's going to get. Uh, okay. There's uh, Oriana again. But this time, no ulti, no flash, no ignite. Just used it. Boom. One and uh, two. And that's going to be a nice kill. And uh, we have a level six mob fight about to hit level seven. Sion back up top. Ghost Blade. My goodness. I might just ban Sion every game because I've been seeing a lot of this card. Boom, that's going to be a uh, snap off to the side. Snap comes in, hits the Q, and Blitz gets the uppercut. He pops his ult, and there's the Q. And uh, back to top, I think he's just waiting to see if somebody shows. Uh, mid, I don't know if he got scared. Alright, let's see if we got more spins, guys. I see you guys still typing giveaway in the chat. Nope. So when the next five come up, I'll put the uh, thing up. On the uh, stream, we got an attack uh, coming out from Oriana and Ez right down below. We'll see that the blue on the red team is about to spawn. Will he go for it? And uh, Ez instead going to go for the Baron and clear a pink ward inside the pit. No, that's actually not a pink ward. I actually looked at the minimap and I thought it was theirs. But I'm boosted it and uh, we got that being popped. So they'll get a little vision to see who's uh, down here in this bot side jungle. Astro Zombie, thank you for the subscribe, Marino. You know, first drag in the game is definitely a good one in my eyes. Especially when it comes to, you know, banging on turrets and getting uh, those big ass uh, uh, objectives on the top side of the map. Now Mudo has his ulti. Let's see if he goes for a little bait. Gets a little bit more HP back if he hits, uh, gets a kill. And uh, Ezreal there to join the party. Boom, and Jay's going to drop. Uh, uh, his ability right on top of Ez, and looks like he might be falling. The boost is gonna be there. Blitz is gonna KS him because that's just the way it is. Never mind, he's got potato. We got Chihuahua Charity 
nine months coming in. Appreciate the resubscribe, Arena. You guessed it right again, flashing uh, to his turret. And uh, mid is going to be open. Top is, uh, let's see, chilling, relaxing, 4 1 with a uh, Sunfire Cape, Ninja Tavies, and a Kendo Jam, and a Scion Ghost Blade. That, I just can't handle this. Like, like, why does he play this champion? He's wondering why he's front. Champion's garbage. Champion is garbage. D2 good, man. I appreciate the 29 motherfucking months, man. Long ass time. Oriana having a decent game. There's the stun. The hook misses. Hater uh, got that potato aim. Nova, you trying to you trying to take my points? I'm trying to take. Let me see how many points. Let me see what I got to work with here. 93,000, Malphite coming in, Oriana dead, boom, not gonna get that uh, OT off, I think she had it, she just overshot the ball once a motherfucking game, Tristana saved by Fab Swag's OT, good timing there, sometimes you gotta pop that shit fast, sometimes you can pop it slow, depending, and boom, they're gonna go in for the dive, and uh, where's the buster shot, there's the bomb, the exhaust dropped onto the wrong target, Bane gets uh, uh, Couple autos off, but a shield comes out of nowhere from uh, a fab, and uh, looks like uh, they're not going to continue with this dive. It exhausts if it was dropped on Vayne, she might have been able to get more autos off. Hater might throw a blind hook, and looks like they're just going to go and try to get this tower. X Fighter could look to try to stun. I'd be very careful here because you got your AD carry pretty goddamn low, and uh, we got a 1v1 situation. You guessed it right again. Coming in, getting beastified, and uh, we got Jace doing work. One auto attack, that's all that's needed. Or a blah, uh, a ball. The greed is real, boys. The greed is real. Look at the gold lead right now. 6k? God damn. Plus 7? Not looking good. 7 Oh my god. Grant getting beastified right here. Oh, oh, spin. Hold on, what? We gonna spin? Fuck. I'm ready to spin, guys. Be spinning. Alright, guys, spins not yet. Not just yet. You think I, you know what I might do next game, guys? Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I need a silver AD main, though. I'm gonna play Deer Support and I'm gonna show you guys the brokenness. I think I, I, I know. All right, so it looks like uh, we got Bunkerot Duel. Okay, I got that. Let me let me take that thousand real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, I accept that challenge. Ah oh, man. Yeah, I'll take. I'll take. You can have that one. I don't need that thousand. Duke, let me see. Duke, let me see where you at. Where are you at in this game? I could have sworn you were in this game. Oh, this is bronze. Fuck. All right, Sion coming in. Bam. Uh, whoa. Hello. God damn, that did a lot of damage. 
Is that why they're rocking that uh boom? Look at the oh my god, you guessed it right. Coming in strong, knock up, boom, hook lands, Grant goes down, but look at the cleanup crew. Scion doing damage to save. Scion back alive, slow drop, rip shots coming in. Scion in the dead form comes back and takes out Moon though. I mean, these two have been at it for a while, and Red is uh, uh on the chase, and uh Tristana happens to be in the neighborhood, comes in. There's the stun to clear the wave with the next wave stacking up, and they might be able to get two turrets. You might see Ezreal drop that old. Straight down mid if they do continue to run it down now Drake is up and that's gonna be an Oceana Drake Do they go for it? We've got blue up two on their uh, uh Or in their jungle and uh three camps there fresh as fuck and uh, yeah, they are gonna do this Oriana comes in true shot barrage got a KS they motherfucking dragon So thank you very much and there's no worse feeling than uh, you know that happening where you sit there and put 99% oh, 97% of the damage onto that dragon and Ezra just says bitch I'm gonna snipe that real quick I don't have that potato it looks like we got a four man squad reseed so this is the chill factor right here is this the right call it is you got the Oriana you gotta get ready for the team fight uh mob fight is full AP not doesn't have his ult he needs to see the arrow has a 7.5 on his runes but is it gonna be enough he's off to the side open as fuck to get hook and we got the uh, mundo that could easily get uh bald and can run in there's the ulti pop so they're gonna go into god mode they are in god mode look at scion boom off to the side trying to get the main there's the uh bombs suicide mouth fight i don't know what's happening with scion is just rip shot in the support there's a ground slam oh my god the potato and the bane untouched gets all the way out doesn't get hit that's gonna be an event or bane popping that ulti condemn or my bad bust shot on to mundo is not gonna stop bane from running straight down mid and actually this game might be over this game might be over Keeping it clean, 5-0-3, 163 CS, and uh, they get one, and uh, they got five before Son comes back in. Fab comes in, gets two-piece. Why are they running just from a support? They could have just killed the motherfucker with three dead again. Uh, you know, the map awareness, like I said, guys, I don't preach, uh, you know, awareness for a reason. And I, I'm a prime example of bad map awareness. If you watch me play, I, you know, I'm just I'm lazy with it. But for this elo, I mean, you get you get all this information, man, just by looking at the map, just by seeing on your screen that three are dead and, you know, the so enemy support runs right in your face and all three of you run back like you're about to get one shot. Cleave, potato, but Grant, boom, all off to the side. Nice joke, boom, knock up onto Mundo, but Tank is all fucked. Jace runs through the Mundo uh, to get the Oriana. Sion is going to pop that ulti. Look at the damage alone. Boom, there's the snipe. And what the fuck am I watching? The hook midair. Collision and uh, Mundo takes out the Tristana. Um, uh, we got San coming back to life, and uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a struggle. This game is going to be a wrap, and that Baron's going to be spinning around the blue team. The gold lead 13k plus with two Nexus turrets dropped, and uh, top stacked, and more farm being the night. To the red team by their own goddamn tower. The Tower is not going to get any stronger, not going to buy any boosts. Rip a Reno. Looks like Grant having a hard time right here on that uh, super minion wave. And uh, Jace comes in to back him up. So uh, Grant's going to need to land the god tier. Oh, and working on his uh, ride lights. Finally, his first item completed. All right, so no spins yet. Hook lands off to the side. Blitz doesn't give a fuck, and it says, "Hey, man, I'm by myself, but I can do that because I can. I'm a tanky ass motherfucker." Boom, and uh, there's the rotato. Uh, we got the zone flex happening, blitz alone with the hook, boom, Grant easily jukes that. Gonna take more than a blitz hook.
Ferroni's trying to come at me with 12. Yo, Duke, what is your, uh, how much are you dueling, uh, dueling me for? How much is it for? I'm trying to take my points and shit. Matty B, thank you for the subscriber. Reno sign coming back live for the eighth time. This game, Mundo, zone flex, and uh, Fab got that all. Mundo goes down, and uh, oh snap, gonna get back in. Jay's back line has something against Oriana because every time we see him, he's flashing in to drop the uh, Oriana with that hammer, but it's not gonna work this time. 1k? Damn, you guys can't. Yo, why did you. You guys trying to take my goddamn points. 